until its reconstruction by Dangote Group. The newly inaugurated 37 km Owarunshoki Apapa Expressway gave motorists and other road users a harrowing experience. <laughs> The contract for the reconstruction of the road was awarded at a cost of 72.9 billion naira by the federal government in 2018. The project started off at the Apapa Port, Creek Road, Tinkan Island, running through Owarunshoki, through the Ojota Tollgate end of the Lagos Ibadan Expressway. Done a roadbed, a roadbed preparation, which is basically the preparation of the existing road to receive the new uh, layer. And then on top of the uh, cement treated base comes the uh, concrete reinforced, conti uh, continuously reinforced concrete pavement. The road was designed to evacuate cargoes out of Lagos without running through the spine of the city. However, over the years, due to neglect, it had fallen to disrepair, costing the Nigerian economy billions in revenue loss. Dan Gote Group and its partners rebuilt and turned the road into a concrete one with 10 lanes, five on both sides, including drainage and rehabilitation of some bridges and interchanges. Because of the depth, uh, we've had to import special rollers to compact the full uh, layer thickness. On top of the uh, cement treated base comes the uh, concrete reinforced continuously reinforced concrete pavement. Um, this has been um, applied using a, a slip form paver, concrete machine, which was also imported from overseas. It has adjustable widths, um, which helps us to better suit the widths that we've encountered uh, on site. The road is complete with walkways, curbs, median barriers and solar-powered streetlights to make the road safe for all users. The thickness of the road is about 700 millimeters, that's over 1.6 feet thick. Comparable to the average Nigerian road, which is about 300 millimeters in thickness. A total of 18,000 tons of steel was also used in the reconstruction. About three times the amount of steel used to build the Eiffel Tower of France. The Dan Gote Group continues to push the boundaries of possibilities in Nigeria, focusing on improving the well-being of Nigerians and taking up the difficult challenge of nation-building. Fadisha Lashutsingwa, Arise News.